Across tech forums and YouTube channels, the talk of Tesla's aluminium battery has exploded. Millions of views, wild claims, and promises of instant charging. But how much of it is real? In this video, the truth behind the rumors is explored. What Tesla is truly developing, what the science says about aluminium ion batteries, and why many viral stories sound too good to be true. Using confirmed information and current research, this video breaks down the facts in simple language. Viewers will understand what's happening now, what's possible soon, and what's pure online fantasy. Tesla's real battery developments. Tesla has been busy with new battery partnerships and improvements, but not with aluminium ion cells. The company recently signed a multi-billion dollar agreement with LG Chem, worth just under $5 billion, to produce four next-generation batteries. These are lithium-ion phosphate, PONT LFP batteries, enhanced with small amounts of nickel. This modification raises the energy density of LFP batteries, allowing them to perform almost as well as ternary batteries like nickel cobalt manganese NCM, but at a lower cost. The result could be a 30% price drop per pack without sacrificing safety or lifespan. The logic behind this move is simple. LFP batteries are already cheap, durable, and stable. Their only weakness is limited energy per kilogram. Adding nickel helps close that gap. This step fits Tesla's mission to reduce production costs while maintaining performance, especially for future affordable models. In short, the company's real battery revolution right now isn't about exotic metals or new physics. It's about smart engineering and smarter scaling. How the aluminium rumor started the aluminium battery story began spreading when several blogs and YouTubers started claiming Tesla had a secret quantum aluminium ion battery ready for the upcoming Model 2. These claims came with flashy graphics, futuristic music, and technical terms that sounded impressive but lacked evidence. When researchers and journalists began checking, there were no official Tesla announcements, patents, or reliable documents confirming the existence of such a battery. Many of these videos even included disclaimers admitting that their content mixed fact, speculation, and creative interpretation. That phrase alone says a lot. The biggest warning sign was inconsistency. Each source gave different numbers for charging time, lifespan, and performance. Some claimed 15,000 charge cycles and 4 million miles of range. Others promised full recharges in two minutes and perfect safety under all conditions. Without any technical papers or Tesla statements to back it up, the aluminium story began to look less like innovation and more like clickbait. The dream battery everyone wants. The idea behind aluminium ion batteries is appealing. In theory, they could fix everything drivers dislike about lithium batteries. Long charging times, high cost, limited lifespan, and safety concerns. Supporters claim aluminium cells can charge in minutes, last for decades, and store more energy in smaller packs. They also say these batteries are safer, producing no dendrites, the needle-like growths that can short-circuit lithium batteries. Because aluminium is one of Earth's most abundant metals, such batteries could also reduce reliance on rare materials like lithium and cobalt. Some videos go further, describing quantum tunnel designs and self-healing graphene channels. The descriptions sound exciting, but read more like science fiction than science. Every field has visionaries who push ideas forward, but claiming every advantage – better density, faster charging, longer life, total safety, and lower cost. All at once is unrealistic. Engineering is about trade-offs. Until proven otherwise, these miracle claims remain theories, not products. What science actually supports? Aluminium ion technology isn't fake. It's a real and active area of research. The science behind it has potential. Aluminium ions carry three electrons, and lithium ions only one. In theory, this means aluminium batteries could hold more charge within the same volume, resulting in higher energy density. But the challenges are serious. Aluminium ions are larger and move slower, creating stability and conductivity issues inside the battery. 
Electrolytes can corrode components, and electrodes often degrade after repeated cycles. These weaknesses have kept aluminium batteries confined to laboratories rather than car factories. Researchers are experimenting with new materials to fix these problems. Carbon-based electrodes and polymer structures are showing promise, improving ion transport and lifespan. Yet even these advances are in early stages. Lab success doesn't equal mass production, until consistent, safe, and affordable results appear in industrial tests, aluminium ion batteries will remain a fascinating experiment, not a Tesla product. The truth about Tesla's timeline. Some of you might wonder, could Tesla secretly be testing aluminium batteries anyway? Possibly. Major automakers test dozens of chemistries at once, but research and readiness are very different things. So far, there is zero official proof from Tesla. No patent filings, no investor presentations, and no confirmed statements. Every detail about the so-called aluminium battery comes from independent creators, none tied to Tesla's engineering team. Even if prototypes existed, bringing such a battery to production would take years. Developing a new chemistry requires long-term testing for safety, stability, and consistency. Each stage, design, validation, scaling, can take half a decade. That makes it impossible for Tesla's upcoming Model 2 to launch with aluminium ion batteries. The claim that it will is pure clickbait. At best, Tesla might study the concept for future generations, but no credible roadmap or evidence supports near-term deployment. Reality is simpler. The company is focused on cost-effective lithium and sodium solutions today. The real game changers now. While the internet debates rumors, Tesla's real breakthroughs are happening with known materials. The company's LFP batteries, enhanced with nickel, could become the next industry standard. These cells combine safety, low cost, and respectable range, all crucial for scaling production. Another emerging technology is sodium ion. Manufacturers like KTL and KDL are already producing sodium cells that are cheaper than lithium. Though they store less energy, they perform better in cold conditions and carry no risk of lithium shortages. For short-range vehicles and home energy storage, sodium cells are ideal. This mix of chemistries, LFP for mainstream cars, sodium for entry-level or stationary use, and high nickel variants for premium models, gives Tesla flexibility. It lowers risk, balances supply chains, and maintains steady innovation without chasing unproven miracles. In short, the future of electric vehicles won't depend on mythical aluminium batteries. It will come from steady progress in existing, practical technologies. Promising advances in aluminium research. Research into aluminium ion batteries is advancing. Even if production remains distant, Recent work uses organic redox polymers as the positive electrode, enabling smoother movement of trivalent aluminium ions. This improves charge acceptance and reduces structural stress during cycling. Flexible polymer chains accommodate volume change, limiting cracks and keeping pathways open. Pairing these cathodes with tailored ionic liquid or gel electrolytes has improved conductivity and reduced corrosion on current collectors. Together, these steps extend capacity retention over thousands of cycles in laboratory cells. Engineers are also refining carbon hosts. Tuned graphene networks and porous carbons create shorter diffusion paths and stable adsorption sites. That supports faster charge, higher power, and better low temperature performance. Meanwhile, protective surface coatings and electrolyte additives mitigate parasitic reactions that once killed early prototypes. On the manufacturing side, researchers are experimenting with slurry processings, calendaring pressure, and binder systems compatible with aluminium chemistries. Those trials target uniform electrodes and repeatable quality. None of these results proves an automotive pack is imminent. However, they remove key blockers, slow ion transport, unstable cathode frameworks, and harsh electrolytes. If progress holds, aluminium ion cells could complement lithium and sodium in cost-sensitive storage, then gradually reach niche vehicle applications soon. Conclusion 
aluminium ion batteries have captured global attention for their promise of faster chargings, higher capacity, and greater safety. But right now, that promise remains mostly theoretical. No verified Tesla statement, patent, SIR or test data supports the idea that such a battery is ready for real-world vehicles. The online hype combines fragments of research with exaggerated claims, creating confusion rather than clarity. The real story is less flashy, but far more meaningful. Tesla's near-term innovations, like nickel-doped LFP and emerging sodium ion packs, are practical, scalable, and already reshaping the electric vehicle market. These chemistries cut costs, improve safety, and reduce dependence on rare materials. They represent steady progress, not instant miracles. Aluminium ion technology may one day join that list, but for now it lives in research labs, not production lines. The best way forward is to celebrate verified science, question viral headlines, and stay grounded in proven engineering reality.